Hi, welcome to the channel and today I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way to create a travel checklist in Word. So the first thing we need to do is to hop onto the internet and go to ChatGPT. This is incredibly helpful and very versatile. All I did is in this box at the bottom here, I typed in create a travel checklist and then ChatGPT has created this list for me. So once my list has been created, all I need to do is click and drag and just highlight every section of this checklist. And then I'm going to press Command or Control C on my keyboard to copy. Go over to Word. I'm going to first of all go to Layout. I'm going to go to my margins, click on the drop down and select narrow to give us as much space as possible. I'm then just going to press my return key, just give me one space at the top of my page. Then I'm going to go to the home tab, click paste and select match formatting. So here is my checklist. Now if you want to leave it like that, that's absolutely fine. You don't want any other customization, that's fine. But if you want this checklist on one page, then I'll show you how to do that. So go to the top of this page, go to insert table, click on the drop down and select insert table. Now I'm going to select four columns and the reason for that is I'm going to do two columns for the list and two columns for a check or a tick once you have allocated that particular job. Then rows, for this I've worked out I need 35 rows but you can go through and either count every one or you can guess and then just add rows when you need to and I'll show you how to do that. Once you've done that just click OK and Word will insert your table here. Now for the checklists or the tick boxes I'm just going to move this over just click and drag the line over again wait till it changes to a double headed arrow click and drag it over and I'm going to select about halfway down which I think is about here click and drag and select those elements there then I'm going to copy it command control C then I'm going to go to the top here my cursor is in that top left column and all I'm going to do is select all of these cells and just click paste and you can see I've gone down to personal hygiene items which is exactly where I selected now if you find that you need a couple of extra rows just click in the bottom row go to table layout and go to insert below and just click and you can see it's inserted a row below. Okay, now I'm going to click and go all the way up to where I finished, just about there. Again, Command or Control C, select this column here and press paste. And you can see it's inserted all of those elements. So I'm just going to click and drag across all of this and delete it. And then we've got our checklist. I haven't got a cursor at the top here. So in order to move this table down, I'm just going to select just next to the T and press return. And now the cursor's outside the table and I can move it down if I want to. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you that if you want all of these sentences that take up two lines to only take up one line, there is a technique where you can select them all. So I'm gonna go ahead and select, I'm going to hold down my command or control key and select each column which has two lines. Once I've done that, I'm just going to right click on one of my selections, go down to table properties, go down to cells, go to options and click fit text, undo wrap text and click OK and click OK. And it will reduce the size of that text to fit that cell. So that's how you can get it all on one list and all on one line. And now I'm just going to select the whole table, go to layout, and I'm just going to use the increase row height icon, click once, and then click one more time or put 1.7 in, or 0.7, press enter. Just gives you a little bit more height on each row. And now we can decide where we want the text to lie. At the moment, the text is in the top left of the cell. So whilst the table's selected, or you can select it with this top left square, go to layout, and I'm going to select this one, which is aligned to center left. And then at the top here, I'm just gonna move the table down. Now you can see I've got two pages here. To get rid of this page, 
we need to extend our margins or decrease the size of our margins. So at the bottom here, go to the ruler. If you can't see rulers, go to view and go to ruler, make sure it's checked. Hover between the white and gray section and when your cursor changes, click and drag down. Do the same at the top and drag up and then go to the home tab select this icon here which shows your formatting marks and you can see we've got some return keys after the table so we need to take those out so just select them or click on them press the delete key and then to the top here just press return so we can move the table down perfect take off the formatting marks and then if you want to title across the top you can use regular text but i find so that it doesn't confuse this table or nudge it go to insert click on word art, just click on the first one, just put in your checklist, travel checklist, and then go to align, align to center. That's in the shape formatting tab or shape format tab. Deselect and there's your title. So really quick and easy way to create a travel checklist, but don't forget you can create any checklist like this. You just type whatever you need into chat GPT and you can use exactly the same technique. If you want to adjust any spelling mistakes, just right click on them and click the word that you need. There we go. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.